The overall goal of this procedure is to use small molecule fluorophores based on the so-called cruciform geometry to analyze and qualitatively discriminate analytes from several compound classes. This is accomplished by first preparing solutions of these cruciform sensors in several different solvents, thus capitalizing on their highly solvent-dependent emission. The second step is to expose these solutions to the analytes of interest, including carboxylic acids, boronic acids, or organic amines, which can be added either as solids or in solution. Next, the combined sensor analyte solutions are irradiated under 365 nanometer ultraviolet light, causing them to emit light in the visible region. These emission colors are photographed using a standard digital photography setup. The final step is the generation of emission color panels, which are used to detect qualitative differences in emission of different analyte solutions. Ultimately, this fluorescence method will be useful for rapid identification of common analytes in the pharmaceutical and food industries. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods like chromatography is that it can directly analyze highly polar analytes without the need for derivatization. This method can help answer key questions in the routine quality control field where it could be used to quickly determine whether a well-defined composition is authentic or has been compromised. Visual demonstration of this method is critical as the method itself uses optical detection and because of its ultimate application would involve non-specialized operators. Demonstrating the procedure will be Timon Schwebel from Bunzis Laboratory in Heidelberg.